my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I'm excited because I'm actually going to be unboxing an art subscription box and then like making some art with it. So I'm going to be unboxing a palette packs box that they sent to me. And this is also going to go up all over on their channel. So make sure you go subscribe to that in case there's any more videos that go out. So if you don't know what Palletful Packs is, they are basically a monthly art subscription box. They have three tiers ranging from about $25 to about $35 a month, depending on like what you get. Um, and I am super excited to try them out. I've never tried out this like specific um, art box brand before. So I'm excited to see what they sent me and what they have in store for me. I love monthly subscription boxes. They're so much fun. So let's just dive right into it. Okay, so inside there is this cute little like corrugated, what is this stuff called? Like, I don't know what these things are called, but you know, you like use them for presents and stuff. It's nice, it looks nice. Oh my God, I'm like really excited. I love subscription boxes. Okay, so the first thing that I see is a 12 set of pentallic metallic colored pencils. I'm super excited about these, oh my gosh. Pental Pentallic is like a pretty good brand. Um, it says, excellent for use on dark paper, used to add highlights and depth to traditional colored pencil drawings. Pre-sharpened wood case pencils with strong break resistance, three millimeter lead. So, um, and it's in like a metal tin, which is nice. Okay, so the first thing that I see after those metallic color pencils are these. These are the Stabilo Carbothello pencils. So these are pastel pencils. Um, and also, normally these boxes have like a little um, sheet to tell you like all of the stuff that's in here, but this got sent a little bit early so that I could make this video before I went on vacation. So. I don't have that with me, but these are pastel pencils and they are in such, I love these colors. They remind me of summer. I'm excited about that. Okay, next thing that is in there is a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. Um, I love the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. This is in 1.5 and it's in blue metallic. Look at that. That's exciting. Ooh, I'm excited to try this. Um, and then a Uniball Signo uh, white pigment in ink gel pen in broad. You guys know I love these gel pens. I think they're so much better than the um, the Pigma. I think it's the Pigma or the Secura ones. Um, I really like these. This is like my favorite brand of white gel pen. So good to have another one of those. There is another Pit Art Artist pen, again in 1.5, and this is in silver. So it's like silver metallic. So I'm really gonna have to play with these on some black paper. And then General's Charcoal White. So one thing these all have in common is they're all gonna look really good on black paper. So metallic pencils, white gel pen, metallic pens, and pastel pencils, which makes me super excited about the last thing in here. It's a Pentallic Traveler's Black Paper Pocket Sketchbook or Pocket Journal. This looks so cool. Um, okay, I need to open this like right now. I don't have any black paper sketchbooks, so this is like really exciting. And I really like the Pentallic journals. I've used them before. Um, so this is 74 pounds. It says perfect for gel, glitter, and metallic pens and markers. It's called Midnight Sketch. Oh my gosh. A new sketchbook? Are you kidding me? This is so exciting. Okay, um, I'm really excited about all of these supplies, so I am going to go ahead and start playing around with them. So let's go and see what we can create with all the supplies that were in the June Palette Full Packs box. Ah! So excited. Okay, so welcome to the speed paint, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk you guys through my process and talk a little bit about the supplies as well. So the first thing that I did was I started out by making a page of swatches. I always, always, always do this whenever I get new art supplies is I start swatching them so I can see what the colors of everything is like um, in reality and I can kind of play with how well they blend which is what I did with the pastels and I, in this case I could see how metallic and how bright they were against the black paper and I could start kind of brainstorming about what I wanted to do. So I started out by sketching my uh, image with the gray, it's like one of the gray metallic markers. I thought this would show up a little bit better than graphite pencil on the black paper, which it did, um, but it was close enough in color to graphite pencil that I thought that it would cover well and work well as kind of like a sketch. Um, 
So that's what I did and I decided to draw a crystal cave um, in this sort of uh, metallic border, um, sort of Art Nouveau inspired but not super much, um, that I could use the silver pens on. And then I also drew this little fox guy kind of um, who maybe lives in the cave uh, coming around the corner um, towards the viewer. So it's just kind of like a little glimpse in at a scene and I thought this would be a great use for the colors, the blues and the um, yellows and you could really kind of create some glowing kind of pretty atmosphere with it. So I started coloring by doing the background or starting with the background and I used the brown metallic pencil to add some highlights to the stalactites and stalactites and then I actually went in with a black Prismacolor colored pencil that I already had to add in some depth and some darkness to the background because although this is black paper you can always make things a little bit darker and this just helps add a little bit of contrast in the darker direction versus just adding brightness on top. After I kind of had the basic background sort of mapped out, I started rendering the crystals because this was going to be the bulk of the piece. So to render the crystals, I used the pastel pencils and I kind of started blocking out the colors. So I started with the darker blue, then I moved to the mint and to the yellow crystals at the end. And I just tried to vary the colors across the composition, but I also used all three of the pencils in most of the crystals. At the very least, I used two different colors to add more dimension and just more interest um, and create unity. Um, I also used the white pastel pencil to add in these bright highlights. And that was nice because it wasn't quite as soft as the colored pencils so it kept its shape and point a little bit more and was really good for adding in fine details like bright highlights or later on little strokes of fur on the little fox guy and uh, yeah that's I, I really just had fun with the shapes most of them were kind of pointed straight but some were more clean cut and some were more ragged cut um, and I don't know I feel like that added some good variation then I defined more of the cave floor using the black Prismacolor pencil again, and then also the metallic pencils. I also went in with the blue metallic pencil and added some blue to the background because I felt like it was looking a little too warm and I wanted to cool it down a little bit, especially considering the cave will be lit up by the glow of these crystals. Then I wanted to use the smudging capabilities of these pencils, so I layered them down around the edges of the crystals and smudged them out to create a glow effect, as if the crystals are glowing in the cave and illuminate, illuminating it with their crystally blue light. After that, I moved on to doing the fox. Um, so this was kind of trial and error and I just kind of had a reference image and followed that using the yellow as the lightest and I also used a q-tip to kind of help blend out areas that I needed and then went back in and added sharper details on top. Um, I think that's really helpful when working with pastels is you don't want everything to be super smudgy or you don't want everything to be super sharp. You want to have contrast. Um, I added in some details with the metallic pencils around the eyes and the nose and again used the, my black Prismacolor pencil a little bit to add some darkness to there as well. And then I made the fox glow as well because I figured that if he lives in those caves he would probably glow as well. Like, you know, they, I feel like they all glow and there's this whole community down there of glowing creatures and things like that. <laughs> So after I had the scene rendered, I was feeling really excited about it and I added in this silver border. And when I first started applying this, I was super excited. Um, I just kind of drew it out using circles and lines um, and then kind of like let my imagination go wild. Um, and I filled the whole thing in and then realized afterwards that it just really didn't look as detailed or as interesting as I wanted it to, which was sad. Um, and I really liked the picture on the inside and I wanted the frame on the outside to reflect kind of my original vision. So I went back in on top of the silver with a... First I tried a Sharpie, but that didn't really work, it wasn't very black. So then I actually used a black pastel pencil that I already own um, because that kind of adds, like it kind of fits with everything being pastel and it was a lot darker and a lot blacker and I carved out the inside of that frame to add a more detailed and sort of lace-like iron wrought look. 
And then I, at the end, just used my white gel pen that I got sent to sign it. So I think the only thing that didn't get used in this was the blue metallic pen. I used the silver, not the blue. Um, I thought about adding the blue as well, but I thought it might be overkill. So I figure it's the same as the silver, but I did swatch that one and that one was nice as well. <laughs> um, so this is the finished piece that I created with everything that was in the palette packs box. I actually really like it. I think it came out really cute. Um, I like my little glowing fox even if he's not like the best drawn fox ever. I still like him and I like the color scheme and it was fun working with pastels. I never work with pastels so I'm really glad that I got this box because it pushed me out of my comfort zone of paint and wet media into something completely new. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you thought down below. Go to the website www.palettepoolpacks.com to check it out. Subscribe if you want fun art supplies in your mailbox every single month. I know I always love getting stuff in the mail. It's like a little present for myself. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought about this video. If you guys have tried palettefull packs before, um, I would love to hear your opinions on just art subscription box in boxes in general and that is pretty much it for me if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video I do upload new art videos every single Friday and that is pretty much it so thanks so much for watching and as always have a great rest of your day bye guys <laughs>